uh, hierarchically ordered societies, and we'll finish on that, like any other society, this is why they believe in equal freedom. And that's because formal equality, that is formal equality, everybody is equal in moral worth. In every society, there are two reasons for that. In every society, formal, at least the societies which claim that people are equal in certain aspects, those equalities are formal. They are used to justify actual inequalities. And one of the things which it, and because liberal societies are based on freedom, the concept of freedom, and freedom requires um, resources, especially material resources. Because what limits your freedom, as we saw, is scarcity. And liberalism, like other modern ideologies, recognizes that, that in order to overcome uh, this is scarcity. In order to uh, actualize human freedom, we need to overcome this is scarcity. And in order to overcome scarcity, we need to adopt the system of capitalist accumulation. So, in actual liberal societies, what becomes supreme is not freedom of individual, but freedom in its concrete form, which is capital or accumulation. So, in actual fact, those individuals were able to accumulate better and hence actualize their freedom better. In actual liberal society, they, they have obviously in practice, they, they have more power and they have higher social status than other individuals who have less resources because they are able to actualize their freedom while others are not able to or not at the same extent. So even though formally everybody is equal because of the reason we just said, actual liberal societies, because of its commitment to capital and capitalism, actually structure hierarchies according to who owns more resources and who has more capital, who has more resources, who has more money. So that's how you can combine formal equality with informal inequalities in liberal capitalist societies. Okay, so that's enough for today.